The next day, the lady, the next day, sang some more. Harry is hurt more than ever. He went for a walk. After he had walked for a long time, he heard a wonderful sound. Ooh, ma, ooh, ma, ooh, ma, ooh, ma. It was low and lovely. Then Harry saw it was the big horn, the fireman's band. The big horn was even softer and lower than the cow's moon. He walked along listening. He was the lady next door with sing like the big horn. Then he saw a leader of the band. The leader was true and stick to a stick to the air. How he was. How he watched it. Suddenly he had an idea. The next time the stick went to the air, how he caught it. He how he ran in the front of the band and and the leader after Harry, the band ran after, and the band ran after the leader. The leader was out of breath. So soon the leader was out of breath and stopped running. And the band ran after Harry. The men played as they ran. Harry let them all down the main street of town. They passed the school and the library and the firehouse. Harry stopped on the path in the front of the lady's house. She was still singing the big player played, even softer and lower than before. He blew and blew and blew and blew like under the window, but it did not do any good. The lady next door went on singing. She sang higher and louder than ever. When the leader got in there, he had Harry's family with him. He gave the stick back. That night, he slept in the doghouse again. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, chapter four, the contest. A few nights after that, the family took Harry at the park they were going to hear the fire band. The family knew that Harry liked the big one. They got in the park and sat down in the light and the stone on the stage. The people were quiet. He lay on the music and began. Harry closed her, her eyes and listened. Listened. Listen. Listen. And waited for the big horn. He waited for the soft low noise. Um, but the low noises never came. Instead, a man came out. Good evening, friends, he said. The band will not play tonight. The big horn plays out of breath instead. We shall have a singing contest. And here are the ladies who will sing. Everyone clap. When the ladies came out on the end of the line, there, there was the lady next door. Harry took one look and ran off. was almost out of the park when he heard something blurp, 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 blurp. 
It was slow and beautiful. Harry stopped and listened. He was even softer and lower than the cows in the backyard. Then the cows in the backyard. He wished the lazy next to him would sing like this. Um, and he saw where the sounds came. He came from a watering can. Suddenly, Harry had an idea. It's, it's a spider over there, right? It's, it's a spider over there, too. He took the handle of the can in his mouth. Then he ran away. When he got back to Bandstand, he walked quietly up and this, this, and the lady next door was singing. Harry put the watering can and the floor behind her. That's my little sister. Harry, watering can and the floor behind her. Then the lady sang a very high note. Then something happened. Two frogs jumped out of the town. One jumped on, on the lady's head. The other jumped on, the, on, on her shoulder. The other ladies in the contents shrieked and ran from the stage. But the lady next door was singing, sound higher and louder than ever. When he finished, when she finished the song, everybody shouted, "Hooray!" The judges whispered together. Then one. But then one of them spoke. Ladies and gentlemen, he said, the other lady in the country have all gone out. So the lady the, so the lady next to wind the singing contest. He is a brave lady. She she won the first prize. It means it means she can study music in a far up country for a long time. Everyone clapped and clapped. Harry Buck and Bart. He was the happiest of all. In the middle, of all the fuss, the fox hopped home. Soon, the kind the, the, the lady next door, soon the time came, the lady next door to go away. Harry went to the ship with Harry went to the ship with the family and sent her off. <clears throat> goodbye, goodbye, everyone shout. Did. Did Harry wag his tail? Um, next, late, then. Lady, lady next door started to sing her good party song. But no one could ever hear Jesse sung the first note. The ship is far gone. It was steep, low, and wonderful sound, and the ship moved away from the dock. Other boats was 
Foghorns. Foghorns too. It, Harry thought it was the most beautiful goodbye song that he ever heard. The end. I hope I I hope you like it, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye guys. If you like this video, comment down below.